So let's have a look at the solution for the tic-tac-toe game. So you guys can see that once you win the game, it does give you a result that the game has been won. But the current issue we have is that when it's a true, there's no visual feedback for the user. So let's go ahead and add that functionality today. The first thing we're going to do is going to create a variable, say let const play. Const place is equal to zero. And this is the variable we're going to use it to our checks. So let's go into our function box clicked and let's check for the first if statement to check that has any of this box been selected and add to it. So we're going to say if this current item being clicked has not been selected and count place is more than nine, only then we're going to go inside of this if statement. So the first thing we want to do inside of the if statement is check has the user actually won. So has the user got three in a row? If so, we're going to change the value of const place. We can make it equal to 10. And if the user has not done so, meaning that the user has not won, we're going to increment const place, count place, sorry. So once we started incrementing it, um, we can go ahead and have a visual check. So I'm going to do this quick check. The player has one, try to click on the other blocks and nothing. And this is exactly what we want. So the thing we need to do now is add visual feedback for a draw game. So I'm going to scroll down outside of the if statement. I'm going to add a new if statement. I want to say count place. If count place is equal to nine, the, the number of blocks, and then what you want to do is you want to get a variable called player text and say that in its inner HTML, we're going to set it a new value. And that value is going to be called draw game. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the title to draw game and I also want to do some visual feedback. So I'm going to loop over each of those boxes. So I'm going to say boxes that for each and I'm going to say each box, which is individual box to an arrow function and say box that style dot color. So instead of using its background color, I'm just going to use change its color. It's equal to draw indicator. And that is a variable already preset on top. If you're not sure about it, check out the full video about this tic-tac-toe game. So let's quickly have another look at a draw game and see if we do get visual feedback and we do get it, which is correct. But when I click on restart, everything doesn't reset the way you would expect to do. So let's go ahead and do that in our restart function. Just going to scroll down here inside of our restart function. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to reset the count place variable back to zero. And then inside of the boxes, I'm just going to add a new one, say box.style.color. And I'm going to paste in a default color in here in order to reset basically back to the yellowish color. Now let's have a look. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to win the game. We do get it win. Try to click on the other blocks. Nothing. Reset it. And now I'm going to try to throw the game. And once I've drawn, you get the visual feedback that the game has been drawn. If you guys haven't watched this video, check out this card right here on top and implement this solution to it.